So if you find this sleep story helpful or interesting, then give it a thumbs up, leave any comments that you've got below. And if you aren't already, subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you can receive notifications of when future sleep stories go live. I have dozens and dozens of stories already on my channel that you can go and search. I also release new stories every single week. So I hope you enjoy this story. So allow yourself to get comfortable. Take a moment to close your eyes. And begin to drift comfortably asleep. And as you drift comfortably asleep, I'll tell this story in the background. And I don't know whether you'll drift comfortably asleep faster to the sound of my voice or the spaces between my words. But as you listen along to this story, you can just begin to drift off asleep. And you can have a sense of a cat that's walking in the warmth of an Egyptian desert. It's walking on that warm sand, feeling that heat on its fur, and being aware of how comfortable it is with the warmth, walking with confidence, with grace, looking around, seeing pyramids off in the distance, seeing the Nile, and the cat decides to walk towards the Nile, and its feet sink gently into the sand with each step it takes. You can hear sounds in the background. The occasional sound of birds overhead. As it walks over to the Nile. And the closer it gets to the Nile, the more it can begin to hear sounds of people milling around the river. Working. Fishing. talking to each other and as it arrives at the Nile so it has a drink of the water dunks its head a little bit into the water cools itself off a little bit shakes its head shaking some of that water off, rubs its face, and then confidently walks along a wooden path and up onto a boat. And up on the boat, it starts exploring. It sees barrels at the front can notice the sails currently furled up people milling around on the boat and it walks into a cabin near the back of the boat and the boat begins to move away from the shore and as the boat moves away from the shore and follows the Nile towards the sea so the cat decides to take a moment to curl up in a comfortable space and just rest for a moment 
and as the cat begins to rest, so the boat travels down the Nile and out towards the sea. And while it's travelling along, so the sun begins to set. And the Nile begins to take on an orangey glow to the surface of the water. And dragonfly hunting above the water, darting left and right, hovering, moving around with incredible manoeuvrability, moving each wing independently. And birds overhead, sound of an eagle, somewhere high up in the sky. A row of camels with people on them, setting off into the desert. Perhaps heading off somewhere to set up camp in the desert and go on a long journey as that boat continues along the Nile and while that boat continues and heads out to sea so that cat drifts deeper and more relaxed to sleep And while it drifts deeper and more relaxed asleep, so it begins to imagine itself in a completely different place and time, finding itself creeping and crawling through long grass with a gentle mist across the surface of that grass. at night time with moon and stars in the sky heading through long grass and then into a forest and entering that forest and seeing flying glowing animals with little twinkles of green light almost like they're turning on and off communicating with each other and the cat walks into the, this mysterious magical forest and is aware that its footsteps sound and feel totally different to when it walks in a desert that it feels totally different to be in this environment at night time compared to the environment in a desert and as it follows a mud trail deep into the forest so it can hear the rustling of the leaves in the breeze it can hear sounds of birds walking around on the forest floor and other animals and the moonlight shines through the canopy sending shards of white light dancing and sparkling in the path ahead And beyond the sparkling light, the cat notices what at first it thinks is like a humpless camel. And as it gets closer, it notices this most beautiful, almost glowing white unicorn. And in awe, the cat 
begins to walk towards that unicorn. And the unicorn is just tapping one of its front legs, one of its front hooves on the ground, eating some plants on the ground, having to be careful with not knocking its horn on the ground and on trees. And as the cat gets closer to the unicorn, so the unicorn leans down its front legs, lets the cat climb up onto its back, and then stands back up again. And the cat stands tall and confident, balancing on the back of the unicorn. As it walks its way out of the forest, following the path towards a lake. And the unicorn and the cat almost seem to have some kind of a psychic connection, almost seem like they developed a friendship at first sight. And as the unicorn gets out into the clearing toward the lake, so it begins to sparkle and glow and bright white light begins to emanate from its sides. And two pure white wings begin to form out of the sides of the unicorn. And these large white wings, almost like wings of a dove, and the unicorn flaps those wings, makes a neighing kind of sound. Bends down slightly, and then launches itself up into the air. And the cat suddenly doesn't feel quite so confident, and decides to sit itself down and hold on tight. as the unicorn seems to be galloping through the sky on a rainbow, leaving behind this rainbow of light, almost created by its galloping. And the cat can't work out whether the rainbow's being created first and the unicorn's galloping on the rainbow, or whether the unicorn's galloping is what's creating the rainbow. And the unicorn seems to be having so much fun, swooping down, speeding up, circling round, And after a while, the cat realises that they can trust the unicorn and they begin to relax into the experience. And they relax into the uncertainty of the experience. And once the cat relaxes into the experience, so the unicorn begins to take them on a journey of discovery. It begins to gallop up towards some white fluffy clouds in the sky that almost look like cotton in the sky. And as it arrives at those clouds, so the cat notices that high up on those clouds is some kind of a palace almost like there's some kind of land up here 
in the clouds. And the unicorn walks onto the clouds, leans down, lets the cat climb off onto the clouds. And the way the unicorn does it just gives the cat the confidence and the trust that it's not going to just fall straight through those clouds. And so the cat jumps down onto the floor, onto those clouds. And finds that it's like walking on cushions. It's so fluffy and soft. And the cat rolls on its back, stretches itself around, twists its lower body and its shoulders. pushes its face into the fluffy clouds and then begins to almost skip its way towards the palace and as the cat nears the palace so it notices that there's a small lake and there's a moat around the palace and a bridge between the cat and the palace. And the cat walks over that bridge. And as it does, it looks down into the water. And down in the water. It can see holes. Almost like the water is in a sieve. And the cat wonders if this is how rain is made. And the cat heads into the palace. And inside the palace, its claws seem to tap on a marble surface. An echo around the inside of this palace. And the cat climbs some steps, walks across the softest, most beautiful rug, and sees on the back wall in this palace a picture. And it's a picture of the ocean that's obviously been painted from a cliff. And the cat walks up to that picture and thinks there's something wrong with its eyes because the picture seems to be slightly out of focus. And so the cat tries to get focus on that picture. And then the cat realizes that there's nothing wrong with their eyes. This picture's vibrating. And so the cat reaches forward with its nose to buff that painting. But as it does, its head passes straight through the painting. And so it decides to step all the way. And the cat steps through that painting, finding itself on a cliff hearing crashing waves below, seeing a lighthouse off in the distance, along that cliff, and turning round and seeing the picture frame, and through the picture frame is the inside of the palace. And the cat walks to the edge of the cliff, looks over the edge of the cliff, down at the rocks, at the white horses, at the way the sea is crashing against the cliff and on the rocks. And down there, on those rocks, the cat sees a turtle on the shore. And so it finds its way down.
heading down a, a narrow path down that cliff. And the further down the cliff the cat goes, the more sea spray lands on the cat, the more the cat can smell that salty air. And the cat gets down to the turtle and walks over to that turtle. And near the turtle, a woman suddenly walks out of a cave and walks over to the turtle, pets the turtle's head as the turtle lowers its head to her. And the cat's curious about this woman, who she is, where she's from. And so the cat goes to investigate with curiosity. And the woman crouches down and reaches out. The cat climbs into her arms, never one to turn down, being petted. And the woman strokes the cat and holds the cat in her arms. And the cat rolls onto its back. And she tickles and scratches its belly. And the cat purrs in her arms. And she can feel that purring reverberating through her arms. Almost like it's reverberating into her soul. And she's never seen a cat before. And she finds the feeling of the animal unusual. She's never felt fur before like this. And she climbs onto the turtle. And she sits the cat on the turtle in front of her. And she holds that cat and she closes her eyes and the turtle pushes itself into the water and begins to dive and the cat's unsure of the experience and then notices that the woman with her eyes closed seems to be creating an energy between her hands that creates an air bubble around that cat. Almost like the cat's in a submarine on the back of a turtle, being held in a woman's hands. And then as that turtle dives faster and faster, so the woman's legs slip from beside the turtle to stretching out behind her. And then they begin to turn into a tail. And the cat's looking back from inside its submarine, inside its air bubble, on a turtle's back, at what's happening to this woman who's so calmly resting her hands around that cat, with her legs now becoming a green tail, that she begins to move up and down, swimming in time with the turtle her hair flowing in the water as she smiles down at the cat. And the cat thinks this is the most unusual experience and yet exciting and an adventure. And the turtle and the woman and the cat 
dive all the way down to what looks like a crystal palace under the water that's almost see-through. They dive down to that palace, swim into that palace, and then in that palace suddenly they enter a part where the water seems to drain away. The woman gets her legs back. They just seem to start appearing again. And the cat is dry and steps off that turtle's back. Curious about where they are. And the woman starts talking to the cat explaining to the cat that it needed to learn something from its adventure, from this whole journey. Something about bravery, about going with uncertainty, being comfortable with uncertainty and trusting those around them and that they'll need this knowledge they just don't know when yet and the cat's kind of listening but busy curiously exploring this crystal palace then after a while The cat sees that there's somewhere to lie down here. It lies down, closes its eyes, and begins to drift asleep. And as that cat begins to drift asleep in this palace, it starts to wake up on that boat. And the cat can hear the crew on the boat and can feel the rocking of that boat and is aware it's back on the boat that it started dreaming on and the cat was curious about the fact that the dream felt so real more real than its dreams normally feel and more unusual than its dreams normally are. Normally the cat thinks to itself that it drifts into a dream and dreams about chasing a mouse and catching and playing with a mouse and then letting it go and then it normally wakes up. And yet this was like no dream it had ever had before. And the cat walked out onto the deck of the boat and could see that the boat was entering stormy waters and that the boat was now far away from the Nile and the cat wondered how long they'd been asleep for and the crew were trying to keep control of the boat in the stormy waters. And the cat could see a reasonably large incandescent beetle hanging onto a rope, almost as if that beetle was worried about being thrown overboard. And the cat went over and grabbed the bit of rope and pulled the rope tight and let the beetle crawl down the rope and crawl onto its back. And then the cat, sliding across the deck, trying to keep control of itself, found its way back into the cabin of the boat crouched down and let that beetle go in the cabin 
and hunger down safely in the cabin. And then the cat went back out onto the deck of the boat and did it in its own way some help for the crew trying to pull on rope trying to alert crew to things they needed to be aware of and then the most unusual thing happened a penguin leapt from the water startling the crew landing on its belly on the boat and in the water could be seen the fins of some orca whale and those killer whale just started circling the boat and the penguins seemed to be scared of those killer whale and yet the killer whale weren't actually any kind of threat to the boat or the people on the boat they seemed to be trying to help to stabilize the boat and help to keep the boat on track through the storm but the penguin thought it best to sit on the boat while the killer whale were around and the crew, being from Egypt, were totally confused at this sight. And then after a while, the storm began to pass. And the night sky began to return. Stars were visible again in the sky. The water calmed. The crew seemed to relax. The killer whales broke off and headed off into the distance. The crew sat down and rested. And the cat and the penguin investigated each other before the penguin leapt back over the side and the cat went back into that cabin and decided that it's more peaceful to be asleep. It's less hectic. And so it took a moment to drift off asleep. And the next time it awoke, the boat was back in the river. And so the cat got off the boat found its way home, settled down in its usual bed, and drifted and relaxed, asleep.